Have you ever wondered how to convert units of time? Seconds to minutes, minutes to hours, hours to days, or days to hours, or hours to seconds. I'm going to show you a simple process of how it's done. If we look over here, we can see this diagram. This diagram shows that we can convert seconds to minutes, minutes to hours, and hours to days, and going back, days to hours, days to even minutes, and even hours to seconds, any way through we can actually work them out using the process and using this diagram that we have. We need to understand it. If we understand it, it's as if we've memorized it. We'll notice there that we have seconds going to minutes. How do we go from seconds to minutes? We divide by 60. Why 60? Because there are 60 seconds in a minute. And if you want to go from minutes to hours, we divide by 60 again. Why? Because there are 60 minutes in an hour. And if we're going from hours to days, we divide by 24. Why 24? Because there are 24 hours in a day. If we're going from days back to hours, the opposite of divide is times. So to go from a day to an hour, we times by 24. If we're going from hours to minutes, we times by 60. And if we're going from minutes to seconds, we times by 60. Let us look through the examples. We'll do some examples and you'll notice it is pretty simple. We have 45 minutes and we want to know how many seconds that is. 45 minutes, we're going from minutes back to seconds. The process says we have to multiply by 60. So we grab our calculator and 45 minutes times by 60 our answer is 2,700 seconds. There are 2,700 seconds in 45 minutes. Next example, three and a half hours. We want to know how many minutes is that? What do we do? Three and a half hours. We're going from hours to minutes. Hours to minutes, the process says we have to multiply by 60. So three and a half times 60, our answer is 210 minutes. There are 210 minutes in three and a half hours. In this example, we're asked to convert from days to hours. We have four days. We would like to know how many hours are there in four days. From days to hours, it says we have to multiply by 24. Therefore, 4 times 24, and our answer is 96 hours. In 4 days, there are 96 hours, which is 4 times 24. So here, we multiplied by 60. Here, we multiplied by 60, and 4 times 24 is 96. We show our working out and we get our answer very easy. In these two examples here, we're going from hours to seconds for this one and we're going from days to minutes for this one. Two hours to seconds. We're going from hours all the way to seconds. So to go from an hour to a minute, we multiply by 60 and we're going from hours to seconds. So we still have to go and multiply by another 60. So 2 times 60 go to minutes, and then from minutes go to seconds, we times by another 60. Therefore, 2 times 60 times 60, 7,200 seconds in 2 hours. I always tell my students, remember, whenever you're converting from hours to seconds, we're going to use it a lot. Always remember that you're multiplying by 3,600. There are 3,600 seconds in an hour. Where did I get that number? 60 times 60. So instead of doing 2 hours times 60 times 60, another way to remember is that there are 3,600 seconds in one hour. So from hours to seconds, 2 times 3,600, which is the same as 2 times 60 times 60. 7,200 seconds. From days to minutes. Three days to minutes. 
We know that we have to go through hours because we've got to go through days to hours, then to minutes. Three times hours is 24 times 60 to get minutes. Therefore, three times 24 times 60, 4,320 minutes in three days. So here, as you can see, we are converting from a large unit to a small one, a large to a small, a large to a small. Now I'm going to show you how to go the other way around, from a small unit of time to a large unit of time. Let's do these now. Now we're going to convert from a smaller unit of time to a larger unit of time. We follow the similar procedure. Let's look at our diagram. We're going from small to big. We're going from hours to days. And going from hours to days, we divide by 24. Always show you're working out. 72 divided by 24, we have 3 days. 72 hours in 3 days. It's always good to show you working out, even though you may be using a calculator, but you can stuff up in a calculator. So when you show working out, at least you'll get some kind of mark for your working out. So it's very important to get used to that good habit. Here we have minutes to hours, 6,000 minutes going to hours. We want to know how many hours is 6,000 minutes. So we are dividing. We want to see we're going from minutes to hours. Minutes to hours, we are dividing by 60. 6,000 divided by 60, that is 100 hours. There are 6,000 minutes in 100 hours. This example, 360 seconds, we're converting it to minutes. We know from seconds to minutes, we divide by 60. 360 divided by 60, there are 360 seconds, which means 6 minutes. 6 minutes has 360 seconds in it. Here we're going from minutes to days. Minutes to days, we look and we notice we have to divide by 60 and then divide by 24. 7,200 divided by 60, divide by 24. Let us quickly use our calculator. 7,000 and 200 minutes divided by 60, divided by 24. We have 6 days. In 6 days, there are 7,200 minutes. This example, we're going from seconds all the way to hours. Following the procedure again, from seconds to hours, we have to go through minutes. So it's a two-stage process. We have to go to minutes first, divide by 60, and then from minutes to hours, divide by 60 again. Or we just divide by 3,600 because there are 3,600 seconds in an hour, which means 3,600 divided by 3,600, which means there are 3,600 seconds in one hour. That was a little tricky one there, but of course we know it is easy. Anything divided by itself equals to one whole. 3,600 seconds divided by 3,600 is one hour. In one hour, we have 3,600 seconds. So as you can see, it is easy. If it is straightforward, we follow the process and we can't make a mistake if we follow the right way and we show our working out. That way, we know what we're doing and we can always come back and check what we're doing. And in this way, you'll get them all right and you won't make any mistakes.